beetles have been released on a farm in the Wairarapa as part of a project to deal with the country's copious amount of cow manure. The insects use animals' feces for food and reproduction and it's hoped that process will help boost pasture productivity. Jerem Watts explains. It's a feast few animals would choose to dine on, but for these dung beetles, it's a banquet. Intensive farming means more dung is produced than the land can handle, fouling waterways and ruining pasture. What we're doing is just completing a natural cycle, really. So you've got all of this livestock introduced here onto this introduced pasture, and all this dung produced, and nothing getting rid of the dung, really, uh, on a scale that would be deemed useful. The dung beetles burrow into the manure, then further into the soil, taking the dung and the nutrients with them. And they instantly um, just burrow down disappeared, and disappear. Very so quickly, just straight in. Experts say that boosts soil fertility and makes grass more drought tolerant. If we can get that dung, etc., etc., beneath the soil surface and into that. Um, into that soil itself, then it's a lot better than going off into the waterways. Today's culmination of a $1.5 million project was the first major release of dung beetles in the North Island since they were trialled in Kaipara 15 years ago. That was on John Pierce's farm. He says the benefits for his sheep have been huge because dung beetles mean no flies. We don't have to crutch, dip, drench, uh, vaccinate. They just come in once a year and that's it. The beetles are currently being mass reproduced in Christchurch and in Auckland, but it's hoped that once they make the wider up at their home, this place will become a breeding centre for the rest of the country. For now, these beetles will hunker down before they're expected to breed in six to eight weeks. Jerem Watts, 3 News.